Mitch Nelson, a U.S. Army captain with Green Berets Operational Detachment Alpha ODA-595, is moving into a new home with his wife and daughter on September 11, 2001, after receiving an assignment to staff duty under Lieutenant Colonel Balls. As news of the devastating terrorist attacks that day break, Nelson volunteers to lead 595 into Afghanistan. Bowers initially refuses, but veteran soldier CW5 Hal Spencer, previously scheduled to retire, persuades Bowers to give Nelson command of 595 again, as well as volunteering himself for the deployment. After leaving their families, 595 travels to Uzbekistan on October 7, 2001. After being briefed and evaluated by COL Mulholland, commander of 5th Special Forces Group, Nelson and 595 are picked to fight alongside Northern, Northern Alliance leader Abdul Rashid Dosta. ODA-595 is inserted covertly in Afghanistan aboard Boeing CH-47 Chinook flown by 160th SOAR on October 19, 2001. They land 40 miles south of mazar i sharif the country's fourth largest city and a long-time stronghold of the Taliban, where they meet Dostam. Six of the twelve members, led by Nelson, live with Dostam to the mountains, while the other six remain in a fortified camp nicknamed the Alamo, under Spencer's command. Dostam is attempting to capture the northern Afghanistan city while battling Taliban leader Mullah Razan, who rules local communities brutally under strict law of Sharia and has murdered several people including Dostam's family. Also, the warlord is initially skeptical of Nelson's abilities. Nelson gradually earns Dostam's respect. In one battle, however, Dostam makes a tactical error, costing several casualties. Nelson accuses Dostam of acting carelessly with the lives of his men and of withholding valuable information while Dostam retorts that he still feels that Nelson and the U.S. are not willing to pay the potential price of the conflict, and tells Nelson that he needs to use his heart and mind to be a warrior instead of a soldier. The two eventually reconcile, and after splitting of a three-man element under SFC, some dealer to strike a Taliban supply road and being joined by Spencer's half of ODA 595, continue to work together. They win several victories with Dostam's leadership and manpower and American air power, making significant progress towards Mazar i Sharif. When Nelson informs Dostam that another ODA 555 has been dispatched to support Atta Muhammad, Another Northern Alliance leader who is Dostam's political rival. Dostam is furious and his men promptly abandon 595. Following Dostam's departure, Nelson's plans to con continue operating against the Taliban with his Americans and the few Afghan fighters remaining with them. Encountering a large force of Al Qaeda and Taliban fighters and armored vehicles, ODA 595, rejoined by Daler and his element, uses air support to eliminate many of the fighters and most of the armor, but are discovered and attacked. Spencer is critically injured by a suicide bomber, and the team is about to be overrun under heavy Taliban and Al Qaeda pressure when Dostam returns with his forces. Carrying out the U.S. Army's first cavalry charge of the 21st century, the American and the Northern Alliance forces disperse the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, and Dostam tracks down and kills Razan. After Spencer, Spencer is medevaced, Nelson and Dostam continue to Mazar i Sharif, but find Atta Muhammad has beaten them there. Against expectations, Dostam leaves any differences with Muhammad to be settled the next day. 
Impressed by Nelson and the Americans' efforts, Dostum gives Nelson his prized riding crop and tells him that he will always consider Nelson a brother and fellow fighter. At the same time, bidding him remember that Afghanistan is a graveyard of empires. Spencer ultimately survives and all 12 soldiers of ODA 595 return home after 23 days of almost continuous fighting in Afghanistan. The film's penultimate moment shows a photo of the horse soldier statue at the World Trade Center in New York City based on the soldiers of ODA 595 and their victory in the early stages of the response to the September 11 attacks dedicated to all United States Special Forces. The film then ends with a photo of the actual members of ODA 595 in combat fatigues upon whom 12 Strong was based.